we are. Thank you. Okay, so we'll start with Vinny O'Connor. Jesse, good to see you. How are you settling in and how much are you looking forward to the job ahead? Yeah, um, I would say uh, the last week has been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, and I've, I've taken over enough uh, manager roles in, in enough places to know that in, in the first couple days, there can be a million things on your mind and that over time things slow down a bit and that you can start to uh, understand how you can help um, whatever team that you're going to be working with and get to know the club, the people, the, the players. Uh, so uh, I would say that the adaptation uh, process here has been incredibly smooth because the people are so amazing. Um, Everything from working with Victor Orta and Angus Kinnear uh, to then what it's been like here at our training center, uh, working with all the people in the, around the team, and then the players. Uh, I, honestly, it's, I've worked with some incredible teams uh, and, and good young men, and, and this group here is remarkable. So it gives me big hope that, that we can uh, adapt things quickly and, and that I can help them be successful. When you say this group is remarkable, what are you seeing? What kind of response? Because clearly they will notice a difference in the way you go about things to what's gone before. Yeah, I think, listen, in all moments, what will be uh, apparent with me is I will always be respectful of what has happened here in the past three and a half years because of the accomplishments that the club has had, because of the type of coach that, that Marcelo is. Um, you know, but I can say that I think, um, you know, even talking to Victor Orta, he felt like I was the right type of person to come here and take the, take over the team and help it make the next steps. And I think that um, my way of communicating and having relationships and, and I can only speak about um, what it's been like with each individual and then what video sessions have been like and how attentive the team has been, um, how much they're eager to try to adapt and learn quickly. Obviously, because we know we don't have a lot of time and, and that we have to find success quickly, but it's also, I think, um, so much more than that. It's about the character of the, of, of the players and it's about the character of the people here. So, um, yeah, again, that, that makes me optimistic. You've also announced your backroom staff today as well. So, as a team, what will they bring to the club? Well, starting with uh, Frankie Schemer, um, we know each other really well. Um, he's very... Uh, connected with me in terms of what our philosophy is, what our playing style is, how to implement it day by day. So I think clearly that will be a big advantage. Cameron Toshak is the type of person who's very observant, um, understands how to inject himself the right way, understands um, the, the kind of tactics and ideas that we have behind our football and is a, is, has a good way of, of relating with people. And I can tell you that uh, it's only been two days I've worked with Mark Jackson, but it's like we've known each other for years. Jacko is an amazing guy. He's very flexible and adaptable. Uh, he, he reminded me, which I, I didn't know, that we had played against each other. So Leeds took a, um, a summer trip, I think, for preseason to America. And in 1997, yeah, a long time ago, uh, we, we apparently, he remembered that we played against each other. So um, I... Yeah, I asked him if I'd followed him at any point because that was kind of my, I was good at that, but he, he said he couldn't remember that much. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, isn't yeah, it, that you're not yes. remembered for the wrong reasons. But <laughs> as a manager in a new league and a management team as well, what pressure is there to hit the ground running, particularly given the position the club finds itself in in the Premier League? Honestly, pressure is what you make of it. I understand that this is a big league and a big moment and that we have to find ways to get points, to get results, that this club deserves to be in the pr Premier League. I understand all those things. But if I focus on that, it doesn't help anybody or help me do the job. And that's my entire focus is exactly on what we can control and what's important for us to get us to where we think we deserve to be. So it's about the daily work. It's about investing in the process here. It's about investing in the people and in the players and helping them understand how they can be at their best. And, and I think a big part of my job right now is instilling confidence in the group that, that the way that I want to help this team move forward is the way that can help us get to where we want to be and how to, how, to, how to communicate that every day. So, again, very positive start, but still, still a lot of work to do. Easy for us to flag as well, but how do you go about making a team more solid that's conceded 20 goals well, in their last five league games? Yeah, I mean, it's... 
for me, it's it's um, it's a lot of things. It's not one thing. Uh, you know, obviously, a lot of teams had developed uh, match plans against the way that the team had played here that were starting to become uh, very successful and 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 easier and easier to implement. Um, so yeah, clearly we have to not. You know, it's not just saying that we needed to defend better. I mean, that's clear, but it's more about what are the tactics to try to um, manage the situation effectively so that, um, yeah, we can make sure that in all moments we're doing things as a group and making it as difficult as we can on opponents. And that, that includes not just the run of play, but, but set pieces in, in all dead ball situations. So um, we'll, we've worked through. Uh, and, and so, it, and then in the end, to add to that, you know, of course, I have a million things that I, I have on my mind that I that I want to implement. But what's important for me, I think, is to understand how to make the simple things the clearest right now, and then add complexity as we go on, and, and getting that balance right where I'm not overloading the players, um, but making it clear to them what's important, and then allowing them on on match day to go out and be their best.